play like this, visit pianohooks.com for full lessons and the Piano Hooks Patreon page for more advanced tutorials. For now, here's the simple version. For the song Black Velvet by Alana Miles, we are going to learn the second half of the chorus in four parts. First thing we want to do is locate the position for the right hand, and the right hand will be playing the singing part of the song. The right hand is going to start off by playing near the middle of the keyboard. On this 88 key keyboard, I have a group of three black keys, and a group of two black keys in the middle. The exact center is the space in between. And the right hand will be starting off by playing the top black key of this group of two black keys. The left hand is going to find a lower group of three black keys than the middle and go even lower if your keyboard permits. If you have a smaller keyboard, you can opt to play a slightly higher position. But since we have the space, we're going to use this lower group of three black keys. The left hand will play the middle black key of this group of three black keys. Part one goes like this. Once we have found our starting position, the left hand goes first, it plays and holds. The right hand plays and does a big jump up to play the white key to the right of a group of three black keys here. Now, how many times does it play? Let's see. Left hand goes first, right hand plays this, does a big jump. One, two, three. On four, it's going to step down to the nearest black key and play two more times. In total, we're just playing these three keys and we play seven times. So the left hand goes first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we played this once, we played this white key three times, and this black key three times. One plus three plus three is seven. So left hand first, right hand, and big jump up. One, two, three. One, two, three. One time, three times, three times. I'll count those out one more time, and then we'll practice playing with the proper rhythm. Left hand first. One, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, for the proper rhythm, we have left hand long, right hand short, long, short, long, long, short, short, and again. Short, long, short, long, long, short, short. So more longs than shorts here. Left hand plays. Short, long, short, long, long, short, short. For part two, the right hand will continue where it left off in part one by playing the top 
black key of a group of three black keys. The left hand will jump from this middle black key of a group of three black keys to play the bottom black key of a group of two black keys. Hands will go together here. And part two sounds like this. You'll notice for part two, the right hand is only playing these three black keys. The left hand will just play and hold this bottom black key. So both hands go together. Right hand steps down, repeats this black key, steps down a black key again, and then jumps back up to the top. So hands together, right hand step down, repeat, step down and then skip up. Let's see, how many times are we playing the right hand? So hands together. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, we repeat this, three, and then four and skip up for five. Now the proper rhythm we have short, long, short, short, long. And again, short, long, short, short, long. Let's review parts one and two. So we have the starting position here. Left hand goes first. Right hand plays this low black key, then jumps up to play this white key. Two more times. Steps down to this nearest black key. Plays two more times. Then when it plays again, the left hand comes up to start off part two. They play together. Right hand steps down, repeats, step down and skip up. We really want to focus on the rhythm here, so let's try that. Left hand plays and holds. Right hand goes short, sh long, short, long, long, short, short. Left hand moves. Short, long, short, short, long. Let's try that again. Left hand first, right hand. Short, sh long, short, long, long, short, short. Left hand moves. Short, long, short, short, long. One more time. Left hand first. Short, long, short, long, long, short, 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 long, short, short, long. Now, if you remember the tune, try to go off of the, the singing part. And if you know the words, even better. So if you can like hum along. Or if you can whistle. Now, if you can do this, challenge yourself even more by whistling the right hand part and just playing the left hand. What song should I do next? Leave a comment below. For part three, we're going to find the middle group of two black keys and the right hand will start off by playing the top one. For the left hand, we had that low group of three black keys. The right hand is going to start off by playing the white key to the right of those three black keys. Part three sounds like this.
So you'll notice the right hand is only playing these two black keys, the top black key of a group of two, and the bottom black key of a group of three black keys. The left hand is simply playing this white key and then stepping down to play the nearest black key, which is the top black key of a group of three black keys. So we find our starting position here. Left hand goes first, then the right hand. It jumps up to this black key here. While it's holding this one, the left hand steps down, and then the right hand comes back down. So left hand first, right hand. Right hand jumps up, small jump. Left hand steps down, and then the right hand kind of copies by coming down as well. So left hand, right hand, right hand, left hand, right hand. For the rhythm, pretty much all of the tones will be long. So the left hand goes, right hand goes long, long, left hand moves, long. So left hand, long, long, left hand moves, right hand, long. Let's review parts one, two, and three. So we find our starting positions here. I naturally wanted to go to the starting position of part one from the first half of the chorus. It's pretty much like this, but we have this starting key here. Okay, so the left hand goes first, right hand goes short, long, short, long, long, short, short, left hand jumps up, short, short, long, short, long. Now for part three, the left hand steps down to this white key, the right hand drops down to this black key, long, long, left hand steps down, and we have another long. Okay, let's make sure we got the right rhythm there. It can be pretty confusing putting these all together. So the left hand goes first, short, long, short, long, long, short, 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 long, short, short, long. Both hands drop, left hand just a little one, left hand, long, long, left hand moves, long. And now let's add part four. So for part four, our right hand continues where it left off in part three. The left hand finished off by playing this top black key of a group of three black keys, but then it's going to jump up and play a copycat key of the right hand. So we're just going to get the left hand ready for this key. The right hand will start off first here. So it's going to play this top black key of a group of two black keys, then drop down to play the top black key of this group and come back up. So part four sounds like this. So once we have that starting position, the right hand goes first because it's still technically part of part three, but we're adding it here for part four. Right hand plays a top black key, another top black key, jumps back up, and both hands finish off, playing copycat keys of each other. You'll notice these are both similar groups of two black keys. Okay, one more time. The right hand will go short, short, and long for hands together.
Let's review parts one, two, three, and four. So we get our starting position here for part one. Once we have found our position here, the left hand goes first. The right hand plays this black key, does a big jump up. One, two, three, one, two, three. So that was seven times we played. Then the left hand jumps up and we go one, two, three, four, five. So right hand played five times for part two. Now for part three, left hand steps down, right hand goes one, two, three. So it only played three times. And then for part four, the right hand goes one, two, and on three, both hands play together. So we're really focusing on the right hand, how many times we're playing. That kind of helps us remember each part a little bit better. So we'll do that one more time. Left hand plays first and holds. Now the right hand goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Left hand moves. One, two, three, four, five. Left hand moves. One, two, three. And now part four. One, two, three. So seven, five, three, and three. Okay, now let's focus on the rhythm. Left hand first. Short, long, short, long, long, short, short, long, long, short, short, long. Left hand steps down. Long, long, left hand moves. Long, short, short, long. And again, left hand. Short, long, short, long, long, short, short, long, long, short, short, long, 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 short, short, and long for the finish. take your playing to the next level, become a member at pianohooks.com. And if you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe.